For the church, moments where all the idols have fallen and the only truth that remains is the truth that has been revealed to us in Jesus Christ are the moments of enormous opportunity. Paul says, you know, we've each labored uh, in, in, in the way we should. The, in the Greek, the word is kopos. We've each done, and kopos is a word for toil. It's, it's the hard work, it's the putting out the chairs, it's the writing the minutes, it's the organising things, it's getting the bacon sandwiches, it's the, yeah, it's the grunt work. The stuff that is actually 90% of what work in ministry is, to be absolutely honest, a lot of the time. <laughs> and, he sa and he says about himself and Apollos, he uses the word kopos, not ergos, which is the great works of God. He says, we've all been doing the kopos. And we are sunagoi, we are fellow workers, we are co-workers. One word, we're all bound together as co-workers. And God is making it happen. God is the farmer. God is the one who brings the harvest. The culture is coming up behind us. The culture of our country. That's what we see. We see the threats of poverty. We see the changes, the rapid changes in an increasingly rapidly secularizing culture. And we see the opportunities. And what's the outcome? It's God's glory. That's the extraordinary thing. Even when we do the little things that we do in small ways together, it's God's glory. It's been an extraordinary day um, and incredibly encouraging and exciting because it's been full of seeing God at work in this place. If anyone thinks the Church of England, someone asked me on a radio interview, I think, yesterday, they said, oh, well, you know, what are you going to do about the fact the Church is in decline and going nowhere? Oh yeah? Um, oh yeah, when I look back at where we just come from in Malmesbury, where we baptised and confirmed in the open air by full immersion 19 people, including a majority of adults, by full immersion in a tank. My changed, by the way. <laughs> and uh, there were hundreds and hundreds of people there outside. And it was a celebration. It was a celebration here for that in a, earlier this afternoon in a church uh, for people with learning difficulties, with people with severe disabilities, place full of the love of Christ and serving the community. But everywhere there's just been that sense of people serving God, going places, seeking to do what God wants. But at a local level, the church is so embedded in serving its community, more than it has been at any time since 1945. In the last six or seven years, it has, the churches of this land have held the communities together and done the job, serving Christ, not for their own service, but out of love for their communities. We are to be a people who overflow in reconciliation for our communities. In this new context of which I'm talking, in radical autonomy, inequality and stagnation, you can guarantee conflict. And because we can guarantee conflict, we can guarantee the call of God on the church to be the people of peace and reconciliation, who bring enemies together, whether it's street pastors last night, bringing people back into some reconciliation with themselves and with each other after fights in the street whether it's the the day-to-day -day work of dealing with people being reconciled to death of families being reconciled to each other whether it's the day-to-day -day work of reconciliation within the church 
reconciliation in communities, reconciliation with our environment. It goes on and on and on. The task is endless, the challenge is staggering, the fear it inspires is overwhelming, the power of God to meet it is infinite. And we are his instruments. What a privilege. What an amazing privilege. I will take from this weekend a huge amount of encouragement because I'm seeing God at work. People learning to love and follow Jesus Christ, to love their communities, to serve each other, to deal with disagreement, to celebrate, to rejoice, to mourn with each other, to do the things that Christian communities do that are the glue that holds this country together. And it's wonderful. You are